folks, it's Ben Greenfield, and I don't know if you've been to the health food store recently, but if you have, you may have noticed that one of the really, really trendy supplements that's out there are greens supplements. And the whole idea behind green supplements, aside from making people feel less guilty about not eating their vegetables, is that they're supposed to make your body a little bit more alkalinic or less acidic, and also give you this big shotgun full of nutrients and vitamins and minerals, and essentially improve your immune system, improve the health of your digestive system, detoxify your liver, and do a lot of really cool things to your body from a health perspective. The issue is though that not all greens supplements are created the same, and there are also some things that you need to realize when it comes to these supplements. First of all, a green supplement is not a multivitamin, and as a matter of fact, I really don't encourage many folks to take a multivitamin. Now, the reason for that is that a multivitamin typically has very, very low levels of the actual nutrients that you do need, and typically is including a bunch of added extra fillers that your body really doesn't need. Take vitamin D, for example. In most cases, people need anywhere from 2,000 up to 6,000 international units of vitamin D, but the typical multivitamin includes anywhere from 100 up to a maximum of about 400 international units. So if you're relying on a multivitamin to fulfill your nutritional needs, it's really not doing that. So when it comes to greens supplements, you need to understand that these are not multivitamins and they're not intended to be used as a multivitamin. What I do is I take a green supplement, and in my case I take Enterprime, and I combine that with a little bit of extra vitamin D and a little bit of extra magnesium. And for me, that combo is far, far more potent than taking just your common over-the-counter multivitamin that you bought from the grocery store. In most cases, a multivitamin really isn't doing much for you and you really don't need to take something like that compared to taking a green supplement like Enterprime and combining some other vitamins with it. So the next thing that you need to realize about green supplements is that the ingredients in them are not all equal. It's very, very cheap to make a green supplement. You can source things like broccoli and kelp and algae and, and spirulina and all these other components that are in many of these green supplements and you can get those ingredients quite cheaply. Um, what I like about Enterprime, and I think this is one of the reasons that I I can really feel it surging through my veins after I take it is that they're very very picky about the ingredients that they choose. So you take for example the the spirulina that's used in Enterprime. It's non-GMO meaning that it comes from a non-genetically modified crop. Uh, it's not sprayed with herbicides and pesticides and it's grown in a very very friendly manner that makes the spirulina far more nutrient rich and able to work in your body to give you lasting energy to help to do things like detoxify your body and improve your cellular health and to do so very effectively. So you need to realize that if you're grabbing a green supplement out of the bargain bin at your local supplement store or off of the clearance aisle of, of the website where you're buying a green supplement, it's really probably not containing the ingredients or the quality of the ingredients that your body actually needs. So that's very, very important when it comes to green supplements as well, is you need to consider the ingredients. Okay, so first of all, a green supplement is not a multivitamin. It's actually something you should take instead of a multivitamin, and then you add in a couple little extra things to fulfill your needs. Second, not all green supplements are created equal, okay? And then finally, you need to realize that many green supplements, or, or all green supplements really, are, are designed as antioxidants, meaning that when you exercise, or when you're stressed out, or when your body is exposed to pollutants, you get what are called free radicals floating around in your body, and these are simply a byproduct of, of life, and as you age, you tend to become more and more broken down by these free radicals and the thing that actually scavenges or fights off these free radicals or, or collects them and, and gets rid of them are antioxidants. So a green supplement is chock full of antioxidants, but what's very, very important for you to realize is that it's different than the type of antioxidant you might get from a high dose vitamin C or a high dose vitamin E or a high dose uh, selenium is another example. And you can buy many of these antioxidant supplements uh, over the counter at your health food store. The problem is that high doses of those type of antioxidants antioxidants have been shown to actually increase risk of stroke and really not do a whole lot for you when it comes to your health. So instead what you need to be looking for when you're
when you're using an antioxidant is a full spectrum of antioxidants. And that's where something like a green supplement, something like Enterprime comes in to where it provides you with antioxidants, not just from one single source, like say a, a berry source or a broccoli source or a seeds and nuts source, but it includes antioxidants from all sorts of different sources, basically whole food antioxidants that work together synergistically to give your body everything that it needs to fight off free radicals. And so what you're getting is not one single high dose of antioxidants, but a full spectrum of antioxidants when you use something like Enterprime. So that's the deal with a green supplement is you're, you're looking at it as something to take instead of a multivitamin, you're looking at it as a, a, a something you need to be very, very careful of when it comes to the type of green supplement that you use and the ingredients that are sourced to actually make it. And then you need to realize that if you want that antioxidant fighting capability, you shouldn't be going out and taking you know airborne or vitamin C tablets or vitamin E tablets or something like that. You're far, far better off when it comes to that anti-aging and immune system and, and, and healthy advantage that antioxidants give you by taking something like a, a green supplement and really Enterprime in my opinion is the best one out there. It's the only one that I found consistently to keep me from ever getting sick. It's the only one you can literally feel surging through your veins after you take it and it, it, it's made by by a company by impacts um, full of people that really really care about what goes into the products that they're giving people to put into their bodies so for that reason I would highly encourage you when you take a green supplement to choose Enterprime use that take it on a daily basis I take six capsules every morning and sometimes use the powder mix in some water and make it a part of your life uh, your, your body will thank you, trust me. So until next time, I'm Ben Greenfield.